Hello everyone, our research paper is entitled Social Media Discourses on Interracial Intimacy, Tracking Racism and Sexism Through Chinese Geolocated Social Media Data. The authors of this paper are Jing Wei, Ishuan Xia, Dan Yun Xiao, Simin Zhang, Pan Hui, and Mu Ji Zhou. As globalization progresses, interracial marriages are increasingly prevalent in China, yet they remain controversial. Social media platforms like Douyin influence public discourse on race, gender, and immigration through user comments on sensitive topics like interracial relationships. My research evaluates these comments to understand regional sentiment differences and underlying socioeconomic factors. We conducted an extensive analysis of 0.5 million comments linked to 549 short videos on interracial relationships. Our research revolves around answering these four main questions. What themes emerge in the comments about interracial relationships? Are there differences in sentiment across the four types of relationships? Are there any regional differences in themes and sentiment towards these relationships? What factors explain sentiment differences in these discussions? We first review basic facts about interracial intimate relationships in China. We then introduce the theoretical model. Finally, we mention briefly the policy regarding IP geolocation disclosure on Chinese social media platforms. Through our robust qualitative approach, we successfully established 16 thematic clusters from half a million comments, further grouped into three major theoretical perspectives, patriarchal racism, marital exchange, and immigrant integration, giving us a deep insight into the discourse surrounding interracial relationships on social media. From half a million comments of 549 short videos, we found that posts about black men and Chinese women attracted the most negativity, whereas those about white women and Chinese men received the least. Comments are often themed around lineage, material gains, and aspirations for a better life. There is also a strong regional variation in sentiments. In exploring socioeconomic factors that could explain these variations, we found that the local GDP, population size, and the level of openness to Western culture significantly influence these discourses. This intriguing study deepens our understanding of how the discourse on interracial intimacy in social media is shaped by intersecting influences of racism, sexism, and socioeconomic development. It offers a more nuanced insight into how these discourses evolve with socioeconomic development in various regions across China. And with that, I look forward to any questions or comments you may have.